anniversary this weekend of the BMW IBSF two-man bobsleigh World Cup season. We're in Innsbruck in Austria for the first of two race weekends back to back at this double Olympic venue. Martin Haven and John Morgan getting ready to call the action as men's bobsleigh gets underway in the race towards Beijing. 27 sleds from 17 nations and we welcome back China among those nations who were not able to compete in the World Cup last year. But John, they, like everybody else, will know this 1200 meter track very well indeed. Well, this track is probably the most used track ever in the history of uh, bobsledding. More people have learned on this track. And Mel Bardis and Drieskins, two great Latvian veterans, are retired. Their start record is still around since December 2011. Well, we could see a challenge in that today, you don't know. But, you know, like we saw in Skeleton, like we saw in Women's Bob, it's slow up top. No mistakes allowed here. You need a better than average start time to have a chance. And then you got to keep the sled pointed perfectly, no variance. Slingshot effect here on the exit of the Chrysler. Curve eight, pivotal part of the track. It sets you up for curve nine. You make a mistake here, it's over, no chance. Seen a lot of winning runs thrown away here. Then the three quarter labyrinth. This is no picnic, you know, close to 80 mile an hour speeds. Then you go uphill. That slows you down the finish line. You go around this finish curve that's just the breaking stretch. And then it's the toughest breaking stretch on the planet. We saw a lot of problems with women's amount of Bob not being able to stop the sled and they're going up into the rubber mats. I don't think we'll have a problem with that too much with the two and the four, but looks like a nice day for sliding, Martin. It sure does. Air temperature plus nine, ice temperature hovering right around zero. But as you said, John, the ice looks good. Well, there is the man everybody pretty much always has to beat, Francesco Friedrich. 11 two-man victories out of 12 races last year. It was a very weird season for all sorts of reasons, not least because we had three times the number of two-man races as four-man. And hopefully we will never get to the stage again or need to get to 12 two-man races in a season. Well, let's take a look at our start list. 28 athletes, 27 athletes, uh, sleds rather, uh, and seven of those will not make the second heat where we go 20 to one. Cody Baskew here, Lamin Dean at the top of the list. Ryo Shinara of Japan is back again, having not raced in World Cup last season. And you can see Francesco Friedrich, fifth out of the start shed. That's a good draw for him. Little further down the order, we encounter in 19th place, Li Chunjian of China. The Chinese making a welcome return. Marcus Treichel of Austria, Rudy Rinaldi and the rest outside the top 20 have lots of work to do to make the second heat. Innsbruck, Austria, the venue for the season opener in the BMW IBSF two-man bobsleigh World Cup. Martin Haven and John Morgan watching the first sled on ice this year. Cody Baskew from the USA with veteran brakeman Carlo Valdez behind him. 39th two-man World Cup race for Cody. Best result here, seventh place back in 2017. He's got the veteran on the back, Carlo Valdez. Took a couple of years off. Cody's getting into that stage. Pretty experienced driver. Been around. Faced a couple injuries the last few years. 5-14 start. That's uh, well off the record of 496. He's the rabbit, Martin. He's got the best ice to work with. Five World Cup starts here for Cody Baskew. The race that he did in January, he finished in 10th place. That was his first time here since January 2019. So he didn't race the 1920 season in Europe. Good speed, 101 kilometers an hour, but a big skid down there. Check the ice. Find out how good the ice is. The sun's coming out a little bit. That could help mm -hmm. things. Temperatures are cool. 51, 61, 47 hundredths off the track record. No problem stopping the sled, which that was an issue in the women's monobob race this morning. Yep. He's had a win and a bronze medal in two-man competition at World Cup level, Cody Baskew. 
on his home track in Lake Placid, not far from where he's born, Whitehall, New York. Yep. Little skid there, pivotal part of the track. This is down in the labyrinth, he's got on the take on. He got on in his terms, didn't hit the there too early. That was a pretty good, pretty good uh, eyes and hands there. And boy, it looks like Carlos put those brakes on right at yep. the. Yep, right at the finish, I don't know. I think that was early. Back, I, I think he was early on those. In the hundreds of seconds, you know, on this track, the persona on this track is a lot of people tie. Next up, Lamindine of Great Britain, 34th two-man World Cup for the 40-year-old soldier with Ben Simons behind him. It's only Ben's sixth two-man World Cup start. Lamin, boy, plus 16, 30 hundreds. It's plus 16 to Cody. He's going to be plus 25 to a couple of the other teams before we're done here. It's a lot of time to give away in two-man. When I see Lemon come down the track, I think of the four-man world championships here in 2015, Martin. Lemon was in position in the third heat. To, we thought to challenge for a medal, and he crashed right here at curve nine. Sh shocked us, but uh, I think that was the high part of his career. I really thought he was going to medal on that day. Well, he's been using an old sled for a long while. This one is a newer version and certainly looks the part. Wow. Look Livery designed by ex-Jaguar Land Rover chief designer Ian Callum and his crew. To 6,800 behind. Yeah. Whoa. That's an eternity of time on this track. Whoa. Uh, no. in there for <laughs> See, it is a track that you bring learner drivers to, but that doesn't make it easy. The track can almost bore you to sleep. It's so easy. That makes it very easy to get down, very difficult to get down fast. That's what he's talking about in the labyrinth. Yeah. Look at the airborne Whoa. runners. There's a little friction there. Basics. Well, you think what sleds looked like in the early 70s compared to what they look like now, and it was those speeder sleds that that labyrinth was designed for. They're getting in there now 20 miles an hour quicker, probably, than they used to in the when the, the uh, track was designed. Next up, Ryo Shinohara of Japan. He's 28, his brakeman. Yoshiki Kaneko is 24. Just a third two-man start for Kaneko, a fourth in World Cup for Shinohara. And all his previous World Cup races were in January 2020, the previous season to last year for Rio. In the Olympic track in Beijing, Yankee track there. He finished 20th in the competition a few weeks ago, made the cut. But, you know, it's great to see him here, but you know and I know it's about the start time. It's going to haunt them. Yep. Well, it's good to see the Japanese back. They didn't race in the World Cup last season. Again, we're all aware of why, a little late there. Boy, really. Listen to the sound, Mark. Yeah, some let sound like everybody left spanners in the bottom of the sled. This one's got a much tighter sound to it, hasn't it? Yeah, it does. 0.98 behind with a 52.59. And even this early in the draw, it is about whether or not you're going to make the top 20. The first three sleds come from, from drivers ranked outside the top 20. So the next, next sled, we're going to find out how good a run Cody Baskew had. Yeah. But here's the exit of uh, the Chrysler into eight. Those are good lines, Martin. Does. Mm -hmm. The skeleton athletes would like to have those lines. And here, not too much airborne, some on the bottom right runner. Yeah. Well, there is Rio, looks relatively happy with that. Fourth of our starters is the silver medalist from this race in January, Oscar's Kibimanis, the 28-year-old Latvian, starting his 65th two-man World Cup race. 40 Should be seconds in the low for Brakeman. 5.13. That's, tells me Baskew had a great start. This is one of the better starters in the field. He had the second best starts at the 
recent race on the Olympic track in Beijing, but he didn't use the starts to his advantage. He finished seventh. But, uh, you know, this is the top dog from Latvia, and he's 500s behind Cody Baskin. Surprising. Second best speed to Cody Baskew and Lamendine. Baskew had the best speed most of the way down. And the gap is growing. He is behind Cody Baskew. Start record set by his compatriot, Oscar Melbardis, who announced his retirement a couple of months ago. And at the line, wow. three tenths Sanders. back. Yeah, Sanders Sanders Not much of a smile there, was there? If I'm in the United States camp right now, I'm going, wow! Because Cody Baskew didn't really show much when he was in the China event. He finished 13th. And his start times were way off the pace. But so how did or where did Kieber Mattis make his mistakes? Everywhere. He was only 500s behind. Huh? Entering the cries. Oh, there's the mistake right there. Yeah. Boy, our guys in the truck. Our guys in the truck don't miss much at Bogo. Is that what we pay them? <laughs> yeah, I think they're fine. Right. They, they, they picked that up. We didn't even see that. Here is the greatest bobsledder of all time, probably. This is the 75th two-man World Cup start for Francesco Frigic. He won two of the three races here last year in his 11 of 12 winning streak. Alexander Schiller, the 24-year-old brakeman behind him. Yeah, 507. Yeah, look, you know, good start. Well, uh, you know, 1100 off the track record, but, uh, you know, let's see what uh, Mr. FF can do here. 7 to 16, that's about the what you see with the start advantage. And if he makes any mistakes, it should. 21, he's still accelerating away. Best speed. He should continue to accelerate. To, especially knowing with the eyes and hands he's got. But now this is where the 2300s could stay the same. John Friedrich has 10 wins here out of his 37 two-man tally. And this looks like it might be on the way to win number 11. We might be counting our chickens early, but that is a heck of a run. Wow. Very surprising. Can't believe he's 6300s ahead of Kieber Mattis. 3,400s yep. ahead of Cody Baskew is the norm. If you go back and look at sheets from last year, he's about 30, 3,500s average ahead of Cody. But to be that far ahead of Kieber Mattis, watch the brakeman here. This is a large man jumping yep. in a small space. And look at that cohesion and timing. I'll and tell you what, Alexander Schiller has got a lot larger in the two years since we first met him as well. He is really... Big. Look at the runners. Wow. How much spray do we see here getting cut off the runners? A little bit on the exit. A little Boy, tap. The... You know, he'll He's, always tell he... you it's not perfect. Francesco Frugic, our leader from Cody Baskew. Five down, 13 sleds to go. Late change of brakeman from Dorian Oteville to Lionel Lefebvre for Roman Heinrich. So clearly, clearly uh, Dorian uh, either pulled something yesterday or this morning. Seventh World Cup driving here for Heinrich, the 31-year-old. Finished eighth here in the race in January, but his best in Innsbruck is a sixth-place finish. Yeah, that's about the norm, being about 1,300s behind Friedrich. He finished back of the pack there in China, 16th place. You know, we saw Roman have a breakout season uh, after the 2018-19 the season. He really, really had a steep learning curve. But I thought he'd be more advanced in his results than where he is now. Has it had a lot of injuries in his team. Yeah, and that's part of it, isn't it? Keeping everybody healthy, keeping them all yeah. in racing trim. Getting that experience before the games. At the line, fourth place, 7,100s back. Well, Friedrich has opened up an enormous margin to the rest of the field. He's yeah, in the World only person, Cup Plus, and everybody the only else person, is in World Cup. Everybody else in the field, to me, is, er, is fine. But Kieber Mattis being 6,300s back. Wow. Is that how much that mistake cost him in eight? But, uh, well, 
Yeah, that and everything else. And the Kieber Menace is the silver medalist from the World Championships, right? Didn't he sneak yeah. in and break up the German sweep? Uh, no, it was Friedrich Lochner, Dvorak. Uh, so that was the World Cup. Friedrich Lochner and Hannik Hoffer in the World Championships. Next up for Switzerland, Mikkel yeah. Vogt, 23-year-old in his 26th two-man World Cup start. Sandra Michel has shared all of his medals. He's had a silver and three bronze medals in two-man. First medal was in Lake Placid. All his others have come at Segulda. He should, should get within 10 hundredths. He should get a 17 or something. 15. That's All respect. Right. What's about the norm for him? Second best velocity, though. Off the fourth best start. That's that great power step into the sled and down. When they get in, people think it's easy just to jump in. You have to jump in and accelerate the sled. And the old expression's been around for many decades. Get in with cat-like movement. Well, that's his brakeman, Sandro Michel. 17th two-man start for Sandro who during the summer also works as an underwear model. He's well enough. off the pace too. Yeah. yeah he's 4,600 he's back. Looks like Well, third. this could leave him third place, yeah. Had a keeper Mattis though, 56. Yeah. Had a keeper Mattis. Half second. He wasn't the best. Yeah, he was the best Swiss. He was 10th in the China race. Look at the runner tips and the exit of nine. He comes across. Very nice. Great exit. Can't fault anything there. Well, we've had one Swiss sled. Next up, we have the other. This is Seaman Friedley, 29th World Cup start in two-man for Friedley, but his 15th as a driver. So he is now starting his uh, more two-man races in the front than in the back. Andreas Haas behind him, only his third World Cup race for Andreas Haas. Just did one World Cup race before being dragged into the sled in the World Cup last season. Tied for 11th at the, at the Olympic track. Start Race exactly the same up. as their teammates, Miguel Vogt and Sandra Michel, both Swiss sled starting 5.15. The Swiss got a history of really doing well on this track. Go back in the days, Eric Scher, Hildebrand, Gustav Vader. Oh, Third speed. Christian Wright this could put him ahead of Mikkel Vogt, best of the Swiss. Vogt currently in third place. Friedli is coming, though. Not quite going to get to him, no. Fourth at the line. And what's the gap between them? Five hundredths of a second. Yeah. But ahead of Kieber Manis by two hundredths. Yeah. So they tied at the start. Five hundredths of a second separated the two drives down the track. These two Swiss drivers are pretty even, aren't they? Huh? Yeah, there's a lot of equality in the Swiss camp. New drivers. Look at the beautiful pictures here. And is that back end skidding? Yes. Mm -hmm. Little mistake there. Still got a skid going. There was a loss of time in that maneuver right there. He knows it. Yep. Night sled of 27 is our second US team. This is Hunter Church in front and Chris Horn behind. Christopher Horn, 27 years old. It's his eighth two-man World Cup, ninth for Hunter. And he had a four-man bronze medal here in January 2020, Hunter Church. This is clearly a track that plays well for him. His best place in two-man, John, was a 10. Chris is a top decathlete on the back there. Boy, 1,700, seventh best start of nine sleds. 
Hunter coming off, dropping a weight on his foot in late September, had foot surgery. That hampered him, couldn't even go to the test event in uh, Beijing. Well, he started seventh fastest, up to top six position on the split, top four speeds as well. Pretty good exit there. BMW sled going well. 6,200 is back. Yeah, drifting away Seven. behind Roman Heinrich. She'll be ahead of Lam and Dean, he is. And 600s behind Roman Heinrich, six to seventh. Well, seventh best start time, seventh best finish. For sure he's in the, in the mix, he's gonna make the second heat. Start time though, when you're 1700 behind at the start on this 1200 meter track, there's say there's a multiplier of three, so that's 50, 17, 34, 50, 100 behind that he has to overcome driving. And, you know, on the Olympic track over there in Beijing, it's about a minute in time. Here it's 51 seconds. Yeah. Two different worlds when it's 10 seconds farther. <laughs> sure is. Justin Cripps for Canada, our joint Olympic champion with Francesco Friedrich. 71st two-man World Cup race for him. Seven as a brakeman. Seven World Cups here as a driver. Pulled out in January's race, he had muscle spasms and was not sure he wanted to risk his back before the World Championships. That is a big start for him and Cam Stones. Great start for those guys. 100th behind Basque. I give the Americans some pretty positive for their start time. Yeah. Because Chris. Only, only two faster. That's Friedrich and Cuba Manis. Chris is known for his good starts. That's one of the reasons why he tied Francisco Friedrich for the Olympic gold medal in Korea. Yeah, that and the steely nerve that it takes to go last and defend a lead. He's, he's going to fall behind uh, Baskew also. Yes, he is. Well, Cody Baskew had the best of the ice and made good use of it. Justin Cripps is 900 back. There's Todd Hayes, the coach. But again, the gap to the leader is the key here. 4,300 back, only 900s to second. Looks like a one-horse race right now for victory. Look at those runners turn. Look at those runners turn there. He get in there late. That was a hard steer on the exit of nine, the pivotal part of the track, and that wasn't where you slingshotted yourself down. That was like putting the parachute out there, Justin. And the speed difference, John, 1.5 kilometers an hour down on Francesco Friedrich at that stage. Yun Jong Won of Korea next up. Ninth here in January's race. He was seventh in the race a year earlier. 53rd World Cup start in two man for him. And he's had six World Cup races on this track. Looks like he's in better form than last year, Martin. Better starts on the track in China when three weeks ago when they were there. 515, fifth best start here. There you go. But you know, the silver medal that he won in the four-man, he captured the two-man title in 2016 or 1516. Of course, yep. he lost his the legendary Malcolm Lloyd, Gomer Lloyd, the coach, passed away. Sort of put him in a funk. Didn't perform at the standard we thought in the two-man, but he won that historic silver medal time for it in uh, Korea, and, you know, the legend continues. Yep, this looks like speed fifth or sixth. isn't great. Yeah, seventh, seventh at the line and tied with Roman Heinrich. And now I'm seeing, my instinct tells me, the ice is starting to go away a little bit. Well, we've got a couple more sleds to come that might give us an indication. Benny Meyer 
And a winner on this track last year, Hansi Lochner. Yeah. There's a couple more too, yeah. Yeah. The Russian. So that those are the ones I think that we need to look at. Yeah, and Rostislav Gajtukovic, bronze medalist here in January. So we'll wait and see. 10 sleds down, in fact, 11 sleds down, and 27 in our field. Francesco Friedrich, the runaway leader right now. Brad Hall of Great Britain with Greg Cackett behind him. Brad Hall, 31, Greg, 32. 35th two-man start for Brad, 12th for his brakeman, who runs TBM, the brakeman. Silver medalist here in January 2020, Brad Hall. His only two-man medal so far came on this track 12, well, uh, a little over 12 months ago. Yeah, but Martin, he had second place on the, that Olympic test, which wasn't an official World Cup. You know, on the new Beijing track there, he had silver medals. So, you know, I always look back, second best speed, but he's well off the pace that point, still losing time. But Martin, remember the accident he had up in Whistler? Like really yep. crushed his hand, no worse surgery, still a bit scarred his hand. I thought that was going to be a breakout season for him then. It's taken him a few more years, but he is, this is for a top three. Third place, 51-69. There's Matthias Burma. He's 100 ahead of Cripps. Lee Crips Johnson reminding me not to overlook Brad Hall, especially on this track that he likes so much. Well, Greg Hackett has had back injuries, and Brad has Hall has had a series of leg injuries, half hamstring, Achilles. You know, you get beaten up quite badly when you're sprinting such brief periods in such cold temperatures quite often. Spectacular exit of the curve. Maybe the best we've seen other than Friedrich, but... Friedrich lives on another planet. Uh, you can't yeah. count him, but, you know. Uh, well, that's a good overlook from Brad Hall. Francesco yeah. Friedrich, Cody Basque, Brad Hall, the top three. Let's see where we go now with Dominic Dvorak, third in World Cup points last year, finished fourth here in the final race in Innsbruck and was absolutely ecstatic. And we couldn't quite figure out why until we did the maths. It was that fourth place that sealed a top three finish in the Crystal Globe for the Czech Republic for the very first time. He's had three top four finishes here. Is it time now to step onto the podium? Yeah, but his start times a couple of years ago were better than this. I noticed that last year. Really thought he was going to start to break out onto the podium more than that fourth place finish. And he's got some good athletes. He's got knowledge. Where's well, Bregman? Bregman Dominic Zaleski, John, has not raced since 2017. That's lazy. Yeah. I mean, that's just plain lazy. He was, <laughs> called he was 21 when he was last in a bobsleigh. He's now 26 years old. I'm guessing that he did a degree and stayed away from the sport. Yeah. That'll, something about that Olympic parade sort of attracts people to come back yeah. in the year of the Olympics. 8, well, 66. Well, considering the start 93. time. Yeah. You know, ninth, was he? Ninth? ninth best start ninth. time, eighth at the bottom. So that's, you know, I always say you got to drive yourself better than your start. So he did that. Yep. Well, Look Dominic Zaleski back in a sled for the that. first oh. time since 2017. So a lot of steering there. A lot of banging, a lot of skidding. We'll give him a B minus there. Shouldn't be at all surprised if their second start is a little more cohesive and perhaps a little quicker as well. Next up for Romania, Mihai Tentea. Six two-man World Cups in Segulda, five here out of his previous 15 races in two-man. So he spent a lot of time on this track. Ciprian Dorocci behind him in the first race in Innsbruck last season. Dorocci had to push the sled on his own because Mihai was injured and sat in. They still made the cut. 
not a bad start for this young Romanian. We saw him, the first time we saw him was the Cody C World Championships in 17. I went, wow. I mean, he's definitely the shortest driver in the field. And one thing I've seen from this young athlete in three years, four years here, Martin, he's got some really good eyes and hands. He really drives. I mean, you talk about making the most with so little. This guy does. Look at these, look at these lines. Nice no, this nice. same as Dominic Dvorak, and he is now ahead of Dvorak on the track. Good challenge for the seventh. Eighth, seventh, eighth it is. And 200s away from Kiba Manis in seventh. Kiba Manis started 400s quicker. Kiba Manis under <laughs> Here is Brakeman. He's liking yep. that. Hey, they're top 10. Yeah. This is it, man. They they know where they know where their their best results are gonna be. Well, his best result at... was Sigulda, seventh place, but his best result here, fifteenth, so they have way exceeded that. Look at Look the at arms the big... come up. <laughs> Look at this guy stuff himself into this. Who is it? Howard Upperton calls it a bathtub? Well, there's probably a lot more room behind Mihai Tentea for a breakman yeah. like Chipper and Dorochi than there is behind any he's other a, driver in the field. You're not wrong. He, he's a big unit. You're right. Right. Bronze medalist in January, Rostislav Gajcukovic with Mikhail Mordasov behind him. Mikhail starting his 15th two-man World Cup race. His driver only his 11th. But boy, John, this man can drive a bobsled. Five yeah, of his start. 10... Five of his 10 World Cup races have come on this track. Half his he career. He can start the sled, Martin. Watch this. Fair. The Look second best start, 5'10". Yeah. Yeah, he's... he's you know, the Martin, as package, I look, isn't he? As I look through Facebook, he's also got the best social media campaign going on. So, Stop uh, state I, Facebook stalking Moses that guy, Tukovic. It's not a good look. Well, but no, you're right. I a, mean, you know... He's a good Facebook a, guy. A young athlete, and he embraces all the social media, yeah, and so he can is... drive. Little mistake there. Two tenths you know, back, but still ahead of Cody Baskew for second place. Three weeks ago, three weeks ago, he was third on the Beijing Olympic track. Yep. 38, he's falling farther back. He's going to be behind Cody. The track got him there, 51 oh, fifth. Fifth okay. place. Wow. He lost unbelievable amount of time and speed at the bottom well we so, saw mistakes from the cries along down but again you know francesco frugic always says if you haven't got speed by turn two or three on any track you're never going to get it back it's not skeleton i think there's only one more sleeve of great lines i don't know where he yeah. lost it they show us uh, well, the exit take a look nine. here Holds it down early, late run of pressure, hits the wall, and that puts him into a skid. Speed. That's yeah. two kilometers. Look at that skid into eight. There's his mistake. And, and again, go back to what Fr Francesco says. You've got to have speed at turn two and three, or you're not going to catch up. So next up, Benny Meyer. Well, what's he got? He was only 14th here in the race in January, but he has had a medal on this track in two-man. Started in skeleton. To say hi to his wife Liz. 514. Well, Benny didn't compete in the uh, event, in the two man event in China. Oh, excuse me, he's 11th, tied for 11th with Friedel. Doesn't do as well in the two man. His four man world championship silver medal last year. He's got more of the four-man instinct. Two man he just uses to warm up. He was on the podium here in two man in 2017. It's his 48th two man World Cup start. Marcus Samus 39th in two man. So this is a very experienced crew. They've been together a long while. And at the line, top 10 spot, 51.92. Well, that's five places better than he finished in January here. And his brakeman, if you remember, Martin, his brakeman was one of the drivers. Meyer and Sommer were the drivers yep. in the 2015.
16, and then they realized that Sommer's the best guy they got in Austria, so they put him as the number one brakeman behind Meyer. They consolidate their talent. Meyer. Great new livery on the sled, and you'll see that those blue sprint shoes on a number of the athletes. Hi, Benny. Hi, Liz. Okay, so Hansi Lochner then, a winner here in December in one of the two races. He and Friedrich finished first and second apiece in each of those. Hansi wasn't quite on the money, though, in January, only fifth place. Now 31 years old. He had five consecutive podiums before January's race. And last year was the only man to beat Francesco Friedrich in a two-man sled at any stage. Florian Bauer, the brakeman, only his fourth two-man World Cup start. Predominantly, he is a four-man brakeman with 19 four-man starts. I'm going to need a 5'10", 5'11 here. There's the 11, OK. Ooh, All right. mistake right there. Watch the velocity. Look at the ninth best velocity. He had the third best start. And he had, look at the mistake he made right there between curve one and two. Hansi, I don't know if we're going to catch up from that one. If he well, does, I'm it'll sure be we'll see that again. Yeah, he needs big speed on the way down the track. Seven Hasn't got it. Speed to there. No, not with yeah. that start. Third best start should, you know, fourth, he's gotten up the fourth now. All right, what can he rescue here? Top two, top three. He should be nah. shooting for a medal. 3,200s back. Vasquez is 3,400s at the bottom. Cody Vasquez still hang on. 42. He does. So Cody Vasquez remains in second place. He does not look a gift horse in the mouth, does he, Cody? You give him fresh ice to play with. Thank you. I'll take some of that. But you're right, Locker. John. Early mistake for Lochner. Followed him all the way down. Lochner and Hall are tied for third. Watch this little picture here. He gets in. Watch the left side of your screen. That is a no-no mm -hmm. on this track. That's a tenth right there. Yep. At least a tenth. But as usual, nothing phases that man. There's always <laughs> a smile. Biggest smile in sport. Next up, Ivo de Brown of the Netherlands, who saw his wife Christine sliding in monobob this morning. She will race in the women's bob tomorrow as well. Janko Francic behind, 14th two-man start for Janko. He did 10 of the 12 two-man races last year. Can anybody say workhorse? Well, wait, how many starts does Ivo have? 55th today. Who, anybody Big else two got man more? Alone. Uh, oh, anybody yeah. else got more? Hell yeah. Well, well no, Chris I'm Big, saying... who has retired twice, is going to start his 56th race today. And right. how many for Francesco? 75th start today, Francesco okay, right. Friedrich. It just seems yeah. like Evo's been around when Francesco well, he has, born, it seems like. but he hasn't always completed full seasons, and that's why the number tally is lower compared to the number that perhaps he could have done. Great lines. Yeah. But 15th at the start, and not matching that on the way down the run. 16th, speed. Pedestrian. Ahead of Lamentine and Rio Shinohara. There is ah, coach Tom Delahunty. Tom. Tom, as hard to read as ever. His body language tells you nothing, does it? Hey, Inscrutable, Delahunty. How many starts does he have as a coach? <laughs> He's uh, got a couple well, of well, decades how of many, that. How many does he have as a coach and brakeman? That's the question. Driver, driver. Well, no, no, no. Since he retired officially, how many starts has he had to take it as a coach because athletes were ill? At least yeah, two that I can think of. Yeah. We were there. Oh, Look at Evo this. Got his, almost got his leg tied up. Yeah, it did, didn't he? Look at these wonderful pictures. And the brakeman didn't get his arms in like he wanted to. Look at the shoulders get down in yeah. there. The dark Darth Vader visor. This is going to be interesting. I want to see yeah. their start times. 25-year-old Lee Chun Jan, 23-year-old Yu Wei, who's Brakeman. Six World Cup for the Brakeman in two-man. He's also got six four-man starts. 
but for the driver, it is only World Cup start number five. He had four in the 1920 season, and he drove in four-man in San Moritz. That's it. Yeah. Same start as De Bruyne. Yeah, that start. I was thinking that the, they would have found some good starters because we saw 1920 didn't have a great start. To, but of course, the track in China is 10 seconds longer, so if you ever want to cover up an average start time, that's the place to do it. Of course, we didn't see back. any of the Chinese sleds last year outside of Beijing. That's why I was so interested in seeing what they introduced in that yeah. season behind the, uh, the wall. Yep, and that's why they didn't show anybody. A, there. a second back. Okay, this is 18th place at the moment, ahead of Ryo Shinohara of Japan, and he does finish ahead of Shinohara by five hundredths. So he's going to be challenging for a, a spot. Well, you know, 15th best start, 18th best finish. Yep. One again, spot left in the race and eight sleds going for it, John. So this is dog eat dog now. There's, um, I don't know. Well, he got slapped straight. Well, there's one yeah. after, for, after for yeah. sure. Or oh, a little Spring. late here. Whoa! Yeah. Look at the runners there. Look at this. Yeah. That's weird where that bottom left, back left runner comes up like that. We saw that in the women's motorbike race, too. Yeah, it looks like there's That's just a weird. little lump in the fillet going onto the corner. So 20th of our 27 sleds, Christoph Hafer of Germany. 29-year-old with 29-year-old brakeman Christian Hammers. 16th World Cup star for Harper, 7th in two-man for Hammers, who is the... Yeah, he uh, doesn't, doesn't get the starts. 22, 15th best. But, you know, we saw last year at Altenburg, he could drive yeah. out of the deficiency start times. Altenburg's a little different than here, though. He's going to have to be perfect to get the top seven. He's a four-man junior world champion that has five other junior world champion medals at two-man and four-man level. Well, he's coming back. I don't think he's going to get the top ten, though, unless he's got some ticket on the Austrian shortcut. Nope. This is... Uh 15th at the start, 15th at the bottom. He won't be happy with that. One but World Cup bronze medal in two man. Best result here, a couple of sixth place finishes. Not sure he's matching that today. Well, I think the tracks. Remember the model Bob on it this morning. Yep. 49 sleds went down this morning. I was thinking yesterday when it when it held up so well that it probably wouldn't do the same with the bobsleds thundering down as with the skeletons floating over the top. Little bit of weight difference between the skeletons and the bobsleds, but uh, you know you're seeing the track, you know the early sleds. So he's got a chance in a second run to really make a move, as you would expect. Yeah. Not too ma not as too many Germans have long careers at 15th place. <laughs> Not too many. 20 sleds down, Francesco Friedrich leads, and the rest of the field follow Cody Baskew and Brad Hall. 21st starter is Austria's second driver, Marcus Trackel, now 28. A two-man debut for Robert Eckschlager behind him, a former freeride skier, has had two four-man races and two two-man races in Europa Cup, but this is his World Cup debut in two-man. Uh, a very a better, much better start than Marcus has been getting the last couple of years. A little disappointed with Marcus the last couple of years. Well, Marcus has had a lot of injuries since Pyeongchang, so hopefully he's now fully fit. Little nudge there as he got down to the Chrysler. Oh, he's throwing things away. 14th best, now it's 17. And we talk about this being his home track, but actually it's almost his second home because his parents work at the track as well. Yeah, parents are in the Austrian Federation.
Now, where's this going to leave him? 18th place ahead of Lamentine. And that That's going to get him in the field. That's yeah, Ryo Shinohara of Japan is out. I think that there's two more sleds that could get him. Well, no, Andrianov is there. Yeah, Andrianov, he could the Russian, be. So he, he's a he's a deal maker. He could be the last sting in the tail. Very old. I don't think Very anybody Ola's. is breathing. Yeah. Very old. Well, I don't know. Look at Rudy that Rudy Rinaldi, Chris Spring, Andrianov. Not sure what form yeah. Andrianov is in at the moment. Well, the uh, exit of Kreisel. I mean, he's been down the track a lot. Yeah. Nice looking sled, though. I like the. I never favored white colored bobsleds. Just doesn't contrast a little bit with the Blends ice. in, yeah. Yeah, too much. Where, where's the sled? Right, next up, Rudy Rinaldi. Definitely not white here. It's got the plum of Look. Monaco on it. 28 years old now, as is his brakeman. 26 two man World Cup for Rudy, 23rd for big Boris Van. Boris is a big unit. Watch Boris yes, he is. Gingerly. Hey! Decent start, you guys, Rudy, Boris. That's pretty well, awesome. Again, think how many races Rudy has missed in the last couple of seasons through injury. I mean, he missed about a third of last year because of injuries. So again, if he is fit and healthy, that is very good news. Hey, he's missed more races than he's been in, you know? And well, there is, I think there's definitely a degree of that. Only 26 starts, and he's been competing, what, for five or six years? He's at fourth down of 12th. Good run, the rest of the way here, he'll make it in. But with that start time, he'll have a chance to move up in the second run. If he can get through to qualify, yeah, he's hanging in there. Yeah. Should be about should 14th be to 15th. Right about good Christoph run here Harper. For the young right yeah. ahead of Christoph Harper and one behind Kim hey. Jong Won. Well, he beat Hofter by nine hundredths at the start. They're gonna be happy with that. Boris. Rudy, nice start time. Well, they're going to be really happy about that because that is physicality, driving yeah. mistakes and set up. You know, those those are easier to iron out than a hamstring or an Achilles. So a good start, really important. A rough exit of nine, corrected well the rest of the straightaway. Down here in the labyrinth, let's watch for the back left runner here. Yeah, he was late yeah, in all over the place. Yeah, his runner's totally engaged. See that? Well, yeah, that left runner's trying to get up a little bit, but, you know, Mother Nature... When you lay late out a nine, the labyrinth is a bit of a rush, isn't it? So, Monaco are in the race, and out is Lee of China. Lam Dean on the bubble now. Patrick Baumgartner, the youth Olympic gold medalist in boys' bobsleigh in 2012, with a rookie, Robert Messia, behind him. The 22-year-old has not raced a bobsled. This is his very first race of any kind in a bobsled. So Different he clearly can push. Different brakeman in the uh, event in China where he finished 22nd. There, there were 20 hundreds off the best start. Here, there are only 14 hundreds off the best start. So he's got a much better brakeman. All right, well, this young brakeman, 22, has never raced. I'm willing to put money on the fact they couldn't get him a visa in time to get him to China, or he was well, still at school, one or the other. 700's advantage at the start is a lot, but this is it. Yes, it is. It's not, not going to drive him into the, fin into the top 20, though. No, and he is 21st. Lamendeen hangs on. There's Manny Mahati. Yeah, what happened there? I have to go back and think about that. And Baumgartner has sort of reached a ceiling at the bottom end of the top 20 and hasn't really probed any higher. 21st here in January, his best ever result here, December 2020. Last previous season was only 14th place. Labyrinths, back runner, little air. Then when it comes down, you see how much spray it cuts up. Plus, it's, all the runners are in the same spot there, so that's almost like a hole. They'll patch that between heats. It's Baumgartner's 25th two-man World Cup start, John, and he's barely had a couple in the top 10. 
Well, very different level of experience for Chris Spring. 11th here in January. This is his 56th two-man race. He's had seven World Cup starts here. The first back in 2011. Sam Gaguerre, is that who's his brakeman? No. Mike Evelyn, yeah, one of the Mike new Evelyn. guys who came in yeah. when Chris unretired before last season, or in fact, before two years ago. He's been travelling around, start. lives in a camper Good. van on a permanent basis now. Seventh best start. That's good for the sprinter. Yes, it but is. He's, he's dealing with a, uh, a slow track. He's got to make hay out of... Got to make some gold here out of hay. It's not working. Still hanging around. Roman Heinrich, Jung John Wan, Rudy Rinaldi, Terra Chi, top 14 or 15 is a Lamin possibility. Gonna bump yeah. Lamin out, though. No, I think that's a certainty. 13th, hey. that is a good bottom part of the track. Yeah, that's real good. Speed, excellent. So now on the bubble is Marcus Treichel. Well, look, top seven starting, that's really important. And OK, you can't do much about the ice and your start draw. That's courtesy of not having had much of a season in 1920, where the rankings were last drawn up. So he's kind of always going to be stuck with that poorer ice here, but he made the most of it. So as you he's say, John Mark. I'm looking at the speeds. He had the fifth best speed of anybody coming this late. Yeah. I got to see him good heat in the second round. He'll move up. Those were some good lines by the Springer. Marcus Treichel on the bubble and Mattia Variola at the start line. 16th place in January. His best result is a 13th place finish here. Five World Cups in Innsbruck, six in Segulda. He has had one World Cup start in Koenigsegg two man. Those are the only tracks he's raced a two man bobsled on at this level. It is start draw number 13 as a driver. He did four as a brakeman behind him. Eric Fantazzini, 25 years old, did five of the six Eagles races with Mattia. 518, that's good. They're like 14, 1500s off the best start at the test in China. Here they're only about 1400s, so 1300s. 28 back. So top 16. Let's see if he can hang on in the top 20 and bump out Marcus Treichel. That would leave Evo de Brown on the bubble for the Netherlands. He's hanging in there, Martin, but he just dropped two spots. He's going to be yeah, a little rock here. Still in the race. Needs that attack. Austrian shortcut. Ooh, late there. Late big steer there. Boy, he's going to be very there. close. It's him or Marcus Treichel, and it, Treichel is out, and he is in by two hundredths of a second. Well, he lives for a rubber so, sled. Yeah, but the former brakeman is in, and Patrick Baumgartner is not. Mattia Variola wow. will start to establish himself as the number one Italian driver at this rate. Watch this, these three corners here. Comes in a little late, a little high there. Now watch the yarns. He's a little late there. Watch this. Watch the sled. Look at that. Look at the Whoa. back of the sled coming up. Look at those runners. He was maxed out, steering off there. I think he panicked a little bit. And then yeah. look, look at the skid it off. Look, he's on the wrong side of that straightaway. He's got to go into the middle of that curve and steer harder in here. Um, Mind you, only a dozen two-man World Cup races as a driver. Not surprised he had a little moment there. Worried to roll it in. So, two sleds to go. This is Sun Kai-chi of China, only his third World Cup start in two-man. And for Chen Heng, his brakeman, a World Cup two-man debut. Start time below average. Now he's got to have the absolute perfect run to make sure a Chinese sled gets into the second round. Well, he doesn't know this track well, John. His only World Cup starts have been in North America, and he's only been here in Europa Cup in 2019 and 2020. So two race weekends on this track before this week. So this, this, this pair of races will double his knowledge of Eagles. Well, 
You'd have an easier time of it if you didn't have the ooh, ooh he's boring. Mm -hmm. That was late. That yep. was late. I'm sure our guys will tee it up for us. But that is the 24th best time. And he doesn't have the brakes on. They're going to go way up here. He did. He got him on there. Yeah. Whoa! Haven't seen yep. that many sleds. Well, the brakeman is a two-man rookie. He's only raced in four-man, and I didn't check whether he'd ever been on the brakes in a four-man sled. That might be the first trip in a race as a brakeman. And this, John, is where it all got... Ooh. Almost up in the wood. Look at the airborne runners. And he's breaking off some ice. Then he had to be late here. Had to yarn it. And... That was pretty close, Martin. Look at the airborne That was runner. as close as we've seen so far. Yeah. Any more angle load. of the dangle, and he'd have yeah. been over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, as we said, sending our best wishes to Wolfgang Stamper. He crashed here, and he knows this track inside out. Maxim Andrinov, 33-year-old Russian, in his 35th two-man start with Alexei Pushkarev behind him, who's done 34 two-man and 43 four-man races as a brakeman for Russia. It's good training times in four-man, but it was tough to tell because there's A and a B group. Usually in the yep. final day of training, Martin, they let the World Cup rankings go first to last, so you get a good feel who's doing well. They don't do that anymore. They just have two weeks of training, two days of training, three weeks each day. So pretty tough to look at those training times. Yeah, he was in one group, the Germans were another. Well, his best he's... result here, 16th place. I'm not sure he's making the cut, John. No. He is drifting no. away. No, he's 20th right now. Well, it is him or Mattia Variola, and it is not him. Mattia Variola will stay in unless Andrinov finds a very quick run to the line. Ducks his head. Yes, Williams he is does. in. He is in by three hundredths of a second. He Man, did find that, that Austrian tight. shortcut. Remember, Variola had that real problem. He yeah. also saw a problem that, with Variola him. Variola was definitely looking out the side window through the labyrinth, whereas uh, Maxim Andrinov, with a lot more experience, just held it together. But, John, that was skin of the teeth. He had two and a half kilometers better speed than the Italian. Mm. Look at the lines here. I mean, this, how many World Cup stars does he have, Martin? He's got to have 30. Uh, 35 right? and 31 in four, man, so. Yeah, he's been around. Yep. Yes, and in the so lead. has the man at the top of the leaderboard. His 75th World Cup start in two-man alone. He has won 37 gold medals, plus 10 silver medals, plus eight bronze medals Martin, in two-man alone. Martin, he had the best start. Yep. Which he always best has start. the best start. Best speed, no mistakes early, carried the speed to the line. But look at what is behind. Cody Bascu second, Brad Hall third. Hansi Lochner tied with Brad Hall. Justin Cripps a hundredth behind. And Guy Chukovic, sixth place with a bullet. Could he move up? This could be very entertaining. And the gaps, as we always see in Innsbruck, are tiny if not zero, a tie for 14th place as well. 100th ahead of Rudy Rinaldi in 16th. And the gap from 20th to 21st, 300th of a second. Unfortunately, Mattia Variola on the wrong side of that equation. So he, Tricol, Dean, Baumgartner, Sun, Lee and Shinohara will join us and you, hopefully, for the second heat at 1500 Central European, 1400 Greenwich Mean Time. And that is the much more human time of 0900 Eastern. We'll see you then. Bye for now.